paper transition it's not the best it's not perfect but it, i think it's still pretty cool to show you guys uh fastest way you can do it uh, you don't have to use any photoshop or any paint or anything you just have to use premiere or vegas um if you're doing it in vegas it's the same thing as premiere it's just you know you can figure out just a little bit tweaks in here and there i couldn't record the vegas part today so sorry about that always like and subscribe for more tutorials and music videos and whatever and leave a comment helps me a lot and what you want to see next all right so here are the things in my project timeline i have my clips here we'll just look at them right now and i'll speak about them later but um i forgot what rapper this is i and i think i made one of their videos a while ago but i'm just going to use it hopefully you don't find out um and then i have these textures right here uh you can see i already did it but these textures that i have here let me delete all these random ones I have this regular paper and this ball, I don't need this, this ball, this crinkled ball, this newspaper, and this uncrinkled ball type thing. Uh, tell me if you guys want a pack of these for free. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can you can find them on Google or YouTube or whatever, but if you guys really want them, I'll put a link in the description. But you guys really have to tell me though or else I won't do it. Alright, so... The thing is with this effect, it's not perfect. It's not Lone Wolf status. He spends hours on his videos. He's super professional and whatnot, but it's the fastest, easiest way I can figure out how to do it. And I think it looks pretty cool and it'll step your game up a little bit. That being said, um, since these clips are recorded by a uh, video, like a VHS recorder, or I don't know, this is how he sent them to me. It adds, it adds to the effect since the colors are all washed out and there's a little bit of scratching to it so it really adds to the effect so if you're doing this to your clip and it doesn't look the same it doesn't look as good um, try washing out the colors just by you know changing the color curves or you know changing the saturation and whatnot and maybe add some static effect by you know whatever or add some lines you know at, you, you know what i'm saying okay so that that being said let's go on to uh the tutorial so first thing I want to do is I want to do the first transition I did was the uh, this one, right, where uh, he comes in right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to actually click on this top clip right here, hold Alt, drag it on top, right click on it, add frame hold. So now this should not move at all, and that's exactly what we want. Now what we want to do is we want to just mask this, so make sure this top clip is selected. I'm going to make this smaller so we can see it. Effect controls, delete any mask you have already. Click on this little mask button. And I'm going to make a kind of crude mask, which is OK because it adds to the effect. And the thing is, with this effect, I only do it up for about 15 frames. I'll explain that later. Uh, but since it's kind of a fast effect, um, you know, it doesn't really have to be perfect. But, you know, obviously, perfect is perfect. If that makes sense but just so you guys know okay so i'm gonna go to this go to that and so now if we look at it and we mute this and if you mute this we'll have this is our clip right here so now what we want to do is we want to get our texture and the texture i'm going to use for this one is i'm going to use uh this you know this paper crumpled i'm just going to drag that on top of this clip and then i'm going to cut this over here and delete that nope deleted the wrong one and then I'm just going to scale this up so it fits the whole screen because uh, it's kind of a weird scale. Okay, I think I had it right there, but I don't know why I changed it. Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blending mode. So make sure this is still selected. Go to the opacity over here, blend mode. And you can always, you know, mess with this stuff and, you know, be creative and whatnot. But multiply is gener generally good. And then you'll get this one. So now what we want to do is you can copy, you're going to have to mask out the paper so it's not going to be a complete paper. Um, so what we're going to do now is just to add the effect is for the outline of the paper, you know, to see like, to make it feel like it's on paper. So what we're going to do is I'm going to either click, I'm going to click on this paper and then I'm going to go back to the effect controls and then do a mask. Uh, if you guys are thinking about this, you can also copy the mask from here, but since I scaled it up, it's going to be all wonky, so I'm just going to redo it again and then do it my own. Um, another thing, too, I forgot is I'm going to change the feather because I can see it right here, so I'm going to click on the first 
clip, mask path, mask feather, and just bring that down to zero. Okay, and now click back to the top one, and then click on the little pen tool here, and then I'm just gonna make a mask like I did before, and I like to make mine super rigged and jagged and stuff. So you guys really, uh, it's what your choice on it, but I just think the jagged looks the best like that. And then one time, or like if you, okay, during masking, you'll have these little like rounded edges here. here. All you need to do to fix that is um, change this and you see this little bar right here, just put that back in so it gets super jagged and what right now we'll have is this so let me look at this so this is our picture that we're going to use now what we're going to have to do now is click on this little picture button export frame make sure import into project is selected and make sure this is a png because it needs to be a png just make sure it does that click ok and then now if you look into our project it'll be right into our project. So now we can delete these two top frames and then just drag this on. So now we'll have, if I uncheck these two, we'll have the transition. Okay, so since this first clip is the first frame of this clip, we're transitioning into this clip here. Let me bring this up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to put this this way so it pops up and then it goes to its original position. So I'm just gonna split the clip right here in the first frame and then what I like to do is I like to make five different layers and either two frames or three frames each so if I have five layers um, and I need three frames each layer I'm gonna have 15 frames right so I'm gonna go to where the transition is the beginning of the second clip and I'm gonna go to the left 15 frames so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then so if we look at it that's what it'll look like right now. Um, even I know a lot of more people like to do like 20 frames, even like 30 frames sometimes, but that's just not my style. It's just your creativity and you can use whatever. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to do the masking part of it. So there's ways to do this. Uh, and the first three frames I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make him come out slightly and then just have it more and more since this is, that's how it goes, right? It goes through this clip and then this clip if that makes sense so I'll just show you what I'm talking about so I'm not gonna cut them yet I'm gonna actually make the mask first so I'm gonna go to make click on this layer effect controls uh, click on the pen tool and I'm just gonna make a crude mask and I'm just gonna follow this and I'm just gonna do something like here let me change that like that and then move this up and then I'll add another one right here just to make it look like that. Make it look more crude. And so right now I have this, right? So what I want to do now is I want to go three frames to the right. One, two, three. And I'm just going to split this layer. And then I'm going to go... Okay, I'm not going to split it yet. I'm going to click on the second layer. Click on the mask. And then I'm just going to adjust this mask out a little bit like this. So it looks like we're kind of tearing it or, you know, not really tearing it, but it we don't get the same, you know, things. So I'm just going to adjust it like this, maybe even add another point right here, but that doesn't look that good. Okay, so now if you look at it, it goes right here. Oh, we forgot the feather, so I'm going to change the feather to 10, change this feather to 0. Sorry, so it goes like this, right? And that's kind of what we're looking at. Now, I'm looking for more of a white over here, so I'm gonna get that. So I'm gonna go three frames to the right again. One, two, three. And I'm gonna split the clip, click on the last clip, and then this mask, check that, and then I'm just gonna add it right here, get all of that in, add one right here, bring this finally down. Bring this down. Uh, better not do it a lot because actually that looks kind of cool if I turn it. Oh, I might just turn it just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, okay, do that a little bit. Do that. So if you look right here, 
Okay. So if we look at it right now, that's one of our products right here. So we just need to finish it off. We go one, two, three, split the clip, click this last one, mask the path, change that to right about there, in here, move that right there. Oh, I didn't need that. I just wanted to change this right here. And then we'll add some more of these so it looks almost complete. Um, I want this to be right here, and I want one to be right about, where's this last one? Okay, we'll just make it like, yeah, we'll make it like this. So, one more preview. I don't like how it looks right here. It's all gross, so I'm going to do that. Alright, this still looks gross, so I'm going to do that a little bit, and this kind of looks gross. So I'm just going to fix this, and I should, probably shouldn't because the tutorial is going to be long, but okay. So now we have this, and then our final one, we're going to go one, two, three. And our final one, we just want to change our mask, so everything's included. So like this, and bring that out, and then change this. There we go. So now if you look at it will have this crazy effect. Um, I think my edges are too jagged, so that's something to keep in mind. But like I said, it's always your creativity that makes it good. So now we have this kind of paper effect into the next transition. And if you wanna do it to where I did it to this part, to this one, all you have to do is just do it backwards where um, everything is starting out it, like right it just came from here to this frame and then he went paper and then everything is starting out but then backwards I masked each individual out until he was completely gone okay so I'm gonna add the other part I did where there's little crinkles now you can probably find crinkles on Google um, and they're probably way better than my crinkles all I did was to add these crinkles sorry I'm still focused on this one because it's annoying me and I want it to make it look perfect right okay so like I said to add the crinkles all I did was add these little paper balls um, you guys might want to look like look on Google and look up like folded paper and just use those as crinkles but then again I'm just trying to give you guys you know video so don't yeah so make sure your videos are good and not lazy but okay so what I did is I pretty much just put these paper balls into um, on top of these clips right on top of these layers and I'm just going to focus on the first layer right here. Um, I either masked them out the same way. So I'm just going to put that right here since it's encompassing all of it. Click on this bottom layer. I'm going to copy this mask by pressing Control C. Go to this top layer. Putting the same mask on. And then you'll have this little paper right here. Paper mache. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to hold Alt. Drag this to the right click on the second this bottom one copy this mask and put this on top of the paper right here now we have to move the position since all this little things aren't connected so I'm gonna click on motion I'm just gonna move this here I'm gonna have to scale this up since it's not getting everything all right we'd want everything like this here let me rotate this a little bit okay so now if you look at it, this is still not in the, is it? Hold on, is this, now I'm confused. No. So I'm going to delete this mask and then add it back. There we go. Oh, it's because I scaled it up. So I'm going to have to scale this down again. But even then, I don't need to scale down. I just need to change or keep the thing. Okay, actually here, I'm going to delete the mask. I'm going to move this position to right about there. To where it's not covering everything. And then add the mask again. And it should change it. Okay, 
So now we have this type of effect. And I just continue to do this just so it gets that paper isk transition. And the thing about this effect is that it's super fast, so no one really can tell that it's kind of a slop, sloppy job, but it's still a pretty cool effect. Um, I just call it a sloppy job because I don't know, I, I'm picky about that. So if I look at it right here, and then I'm just gonna move this down, this paper down so it looks like it's actually moving. Um, like that. So it looks like it's moving down, right? And then I might even rotate it just so it looks like it just keeps, it's just different folds in the paper. I'm moving that, where's my rotation? Okay, bring that. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that, I'm gonna hold. Okay, so if we do this, rotate it a little bit to the right. Here we go. So, and then I just, uh, I'm gonna finish it off for you guys, but that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna continue to do this. Um, but if you guys, here, hold on now, it's annoying me. Um, okay, there we go again. Copy this mask, put this mask. Actually, I'm gonna delete this mask first. I'm gonna move this into position to right about here and then add the mask on. Okay. The mask is kind of making me garbage. So doing that, boom, boom. And then the final one, which I don't really need other than this bottom one that I did mask out. So I'm just gonna make it cover that real quick. Uh -huh. And then motion, okay, I click that one. Motion, just cover this bottom right here so people don't really see that. Boom, okay, so now if you look at it, you have this paper effect and he's papered and you have paper outlines and that's a paper transition. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial. Stay for the Vegas part, it helps me get more views.